What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over another problem called same ro 8 f feynman okay? So basically the gist of the problem is, is just that you're given a value n and you need to figure out how many different squares are in the n by n squares, okay? How many different squares are there in a grid of n by n squares? So in this case we have n is equal to 2. And then the answer is five. And the reason why it's five is because five is the number of different squares in the grid two by two, right? N by N, two by two. So if we were to create a two by two grid like this and then count how many different squares there are, we get an answer of five. And the reason why it's five is because we have one square here on the left, the second square on, on the top right, a third square on the bottom left, fourth square on the bottom right, and then the, in total, the total square, the whole square is five right that's uh the total square so then that's why the whole answer of the number of different squares in n by n squares is five because we have one two three four five five different squares in n by n is equal to five so now now we have to check uh if n is like three four five six seven eight nine ten whatever value it is we need to find the number of different squares there are for an n by n grid okay so how do you do this problem um Easiest way is actually just to draw it out. So for n is equal to two, we have this left side then right side and then bottom left and then bottom right and then the total, right? And that's equal to five. Answer is five. Now let's set check if n is equal to three. So if n is equal to three, we have a three by three grid. So it's like this. Uh, let's see how many we have. So we have one here. So that's one. Uh, we have another one here, so that's two. Uh, we have three, and then four, five. I shouldn't write it like this. Okay, so we have five here. Six, seven, eight, nine. So first we have nine squares, right? Each separate of different separate squares. But now we have to count the number of different ones. So if I were to count uh, this square, let me, let me change it to a different color. Let's see if I can change it to a different color. Yeah, if I count this square, this individual square right here, this total square. So every four, we see that it's a different square. So this would be another square. So this is equal to another one. So this is equal to 10. And then we have this one. Let's give another color. This one, this blue one is another square. Right, every four is another square, so this is another one. So there's a be there's eleven. Then we have another square, which is this square, this bottom left. That we could color. So then that's this one is twelve. So that means there's another one plus one is another twelve. And then we have a final one, uh, bottom right. Let's make it green. Which is this this square. That's the final different square. Okay. So this is 13, my bad, plus one is 13, right? And then we have the total square, which I'm gonna actually label it gray, which is the original square, this total square. Everything, this whole original square, like the one, the three by the whole three by three square, that's another different square. So we add another one and that gives us 14, okay? So now if we were to redo this, we would have, we have, if n is equal to two, we have, uh, answers would be five, right? So now if n is equal to three, the answer is 14, right? From what we wrote. So now let's look at what happens when n is equal to four, okay? Um, so if we were to draw a four by four matrix, uh, yeah, right here. Okay, so if we draw four by four, um, so for originally we would have 16 because there's 16 different individual squares in here, right? So this is four, four by four. Um, now let's actually count each individual ones, like each, every four, four ones. So we have this one, so that'll be 17. Um, we have this one, oh, this is gonna be 18. This one is gonna be 19. This one is gonna be 20. So this is actually now 20, right? Um, so yeah, that was that. 
but now let's count the other ones so there's other other ones we could do so we could have let's see we could have this one uh, this one we could have this one okay so we could have this square there's another square so that's 21 um we could have this one another square uh, let's actually label this blue so this one there's another square so that's 22 and then we could have this one and this one is uh not that bad this one this square that's 23 and yeah let's i think that's all oh no we have one more on the bottom this one 23 so this is 23 um, and then we could have like a final one. I think I missed one. Did I miss one? No, I have, I have one here, right here. This one. This one, this square in the middle, right? And that's 24. Now we have the whole final square. Let's label this green. So we have this total square right here, the gigantic one, the original square. So that's, that's just, that's this whole giant one right here. And that's 25. So yeah, we would have 25 different squares. So if you were to actually read, read, uh, look at the different test cases we have, n is equal to two gives us five, n equals to three gives us 14, and n equals four gives us 25, I think, yeah. So now let's try to figure out a pattern of how this happened. Um, so if you were to actually try to mathematically do it continually, you realize that this is actually just the sum of every single square from one to n. So five is equal to one square plus two square, right? Which gives us five. Three, uh, 14 is actually equal to one square plus two square plus three square, right? This would give us one plus four plus nine, which is give us one plus 13, which gives us 14, right? So that's what this gives us. And then 25 is equal to one square plus two square plus three square plus four square. And this is equal to, actually we could just take the previous R value that we've pre-calculated, which is 14 plus 16, which gives us actually 30. Okay, so I actually mis miscounted. Yeah, there's there's four more originally. But yeah, that's actually the, the answer to this problem. Okay, um, the answer to this problem is actually yeah, I miscounted. Damn. But yeah, this should be 30. Uh, there were more there were more squares there. I didn't know. Notice. Okay. Um oh, there's the 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 top left and then the bottom right and then the other two. Ah. Dang. I didn't count all of them. But yeah. The answer is actually the summation of the squares of each value from 1 to n. That's basically the solution. So, the answer is given n, it will just be the summation of uh, I equals to one to N and that's just I square, right? The summation of I one I squared one N. And, uh, if you were to do mathematically summations, there's actually a formula, this one, N times N plus one times two N plus one over six. So yeah, you could actually use, this is actually going to equal to a formula for this. So N times N plus one times 2n plus 6 over, up uh, 2n plus 1 over 6, okay? Uh, you probably could prove by induction if you really want to understand the computer science of this, right? You could do a prove by induction. But yeah, that's basically yeah, the answer. The answer is just n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. So yeah, let's just type up the code and then submit it. So the code is basically... Read in a number of test cases, t, uh, while t minus minus, you're going to read every single test case, n, and then just print out n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 6 over 2. And now let's just submit this because I don't know if this actually does work. Hope it does. Let's see what this does. 
Do 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 do. I got wrong answer. What was the problem? Oh, I typed it wrong. 2n plus 1 over 6. Oh, wow. This is a different... This is... Okay. Yeah, this is a weird input. Um, they want us to keep inputting it until the last line is equal to 0. So if... if, if okay. Okay, this is very strange. Okay. Um, so while t is not equal to 0... This is super duper weird. Um, so they want us to read it, to keep doing this until the, the line is not equal to zero. So we're gonna have to do it this way. Okay. So we read an n, and then while if while n is not equal to zero, then we print out the the value. Then we read an n again. Okay, because they want us to continue until the the last line is not equal to zero, right? Because if it's equal to zero, then it's done for. So yeah, uh, why is this not responding now? What is going on? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it didn't do anything. But yeah, okay, let's try this now. That was a very strange, yeah, now it got accepted. Okay, yeah, that was a very weird input statement. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. But yeah, that's, that's basically how you do this problem. Rate, comp, subscribe, I'll check you guys later, peace.